Welcome everyone Thomas Jefferson School the University of Virginia and the pastoral beauty outside of Scott Stadium. ESPN College Football today presented by Nokia. And welcome inside Scott Stadium a regional battle between number seven Virginia Tech and the Cavaliers of Virginia. Two schools coming into this ball game. The gamesmanship has already begun. For more on that, let's go to Rob Stone. Oh, Mark, this is a great one. At about 2.30 a.m. this morning, University of Virginia officials estimate that somebody broke into the Scott Stadium here and painted a big old T next to the V at midfield, right? Because the ground was frozen, it was a relatively easy cleanup process. Talk to head coach Frank Beamer of Virginia Tech about it. He smiled and he said, Rob, the word we're getting on the Virginia Tech sideline is, it was an inside job. They think Virginia did it themselves to motivate the team. How do you not love college football? Well, 11 touchdowns against nine interceptions on the season. First and 10. Good starting field position. Lundy stopped up in the backfield. And Rouse, third down and 13. Set up a little screen play. That's Lundy stopped up behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> And the defense is really coming out and dominating. Both offenses stated. Two of them on defense on the field right now. First down and 10. Vic with his first completion of the ball game. And the Hokies with their first first down of the ball game. Out of the 37-yard line, Eddie Royal made the catch. Back strongly in the next game against Boston College. See if he duplicates that feat here. Hits his man. A first down now to the 16-yard line. David Clowney got in behind the DB on the play. Field. Here's the three receivers. Stadium. Three receivers to one side like we talked about, Mark. Out of the shotgun, Vic. Touchdown, Morgan. Marcus Vic with great moxie in the pocket. To me, like Mark Miller had a hand on it. This ball is actually thrown behind Morgan a little bit. Morgan did a great job of jumping. And off is to Orr, a gaping hole up front for Brandon Orr across midfield and down to the 46-yard line of the Cavaliers. Hokies. Little play fake this time by Vic. Underneath, he completes it to Orr. And Orr has another Virginia Tech first down. This one's going to come from about 32 yards out. The negligible win. And Pace... Keeps on the same toward pace this year. It was a scary moment, but thankfully he's okay. On second down, nice tackle on the edge there. On the catch, number 18, Brandon Flowers brought down Williams. Let's go back. Reese got to love rivalry weekend. Hagen's back to pass under heat and brought down at the 13 yard line. A sack by Daryl Tapp. Now, Virginia Tech Johnson standing on his own 10 yard line. Low snap for Schmidt, the left footed punter. It's off a high spiral. It's fumbled. Virginia Tech will have it. You can't advance a fumble on a punt, but they'll have first and goal from the one-yard line. Roland Miner was there to capitalize on the butch punt by Johnson. Take a look at his visor here. His head is looking up to see if he's going to get hit. He doesn't get square on the football. The ball bounces off of his hands. And a muff putt, can, as you said, Mark, cannot be advanced into the end zone. But that's costly turnovers. See his eyes go off the football. He wasn't square. He started waving the football off, then he went to try to catch it. It's Hughes. Touchdown, Hokies. A quick conversion on the turnover. And it's 16 to nothing. Their pitch, Cedric Humes. He and Orr getting the J-O-B done at the tailback spot. Back with more after this. Vic freezes one defender and in a blur gets the first down. And great decision. Tuck it and run. This time he decides to throw it into traffic, but complete. What a catch by Josh Morgan. Marcus had great concentration. Again, a great throw by Marcus Vic, only where his guy can get it over the outstretched arms of, of, of Marcus Hamilton. Yeah, Marcus, see that throw, Chris? That's confidence. I can put the ball where I want to put the ball. And when you have a kid like Morgan making one-handed catches, you're right. You're right, Marcus. The catch by Tyrone Profer of Alabama for catch of the year. Almost. Second down and nine. And Vic straight up on the money. And Royal 
scores once again for the Hokies. Well, Mark, I was looking to a poor game against uh, Miami, but look at this throw. It's a deep out cut, hits Royal in stride, and Royal says, get away from me. I'll give you the guy. Yep. Sets up a third down and one. Hagan sacked back at the 40-yard line. That's going to be a flag on the play as well. There's going to be a hold. The Brickashaw Ferguson got beaten by Daryl Tapp. But here's the two guys you're going to look at. Watch Tapp come off the ball. Let's see what kind of move he has. There's a nice push swim in the Brickashaw. Not an intentional face mask. His hand just gets up. But watch. He sets him up inside. And he comes with the rip. And that's just effort. And tenacity and a defender have a chance to defend. Well, as a result, the Hokies now with their first possession of the third quarter. See if they can count. Cedric Humes has an idea. Humes showing some speed, then puts his head down and bowls forward over the 40 to the 39 on Virginia's side of midfield. Tony Franklin has gone horribly wrong in college football. Humes, first of all, if they lose contained on the outside, it's good blocking. Tony Franklin leaves his feet. And the big fella's off and running. Not looking to outrun anybody, but looking to run over some. Give us the Humes again. Humes, touchdown! That's a perfect example of nobody getting off blocks. So old power old play, they're kicking out. And he stops and starts again. And see, look at it. Karen Rock. Staying on blocks and drivers. Third down and six. Has all day and is picked off. Aaron Rouse. And he takes it back to the 32-yard line in Virginia territory. Third down and eight. Vic. What a burst of speed for the first down. In two Backs line up out of the eye on first down and goal. Toss to Brandon Orr. Got a nice block. Touchdown, Hokies. All right, they're jogging in the end. Berg, that is. Check out the reflection. He says, I can see the hole with my eyes and my mirrors. Oh, nobody touches him. End zone, Jack. Jack could have played more good. Then the sprint when they open up the gates. That guy's got his tie on. He must be they going, got a dress code. <laughs> must be doing rush, rush week or something. <laughs> Don't wear ties to football games unless you're announcers. <laughs> Who's he trying to impress? First down and ten. Most have stuck around. Pass up for grabs and picked off. Rouse with his second interception of the day. And Virginia Tech will have first down at Virginia's 23-yard line. Second down and ten. Cedric Hughes. Great cut by Hughes. First and goal for the Hokies, down to the eight-yard line, and he at the bottom of the screen. Backs line up out of the eye, Hughes is the deep back. He gets the call, and got the touchdown. Lunging for the end zone, Cedric Hughes tying a career high with three touchdowns. Up blocks, and there's where the linebacker's got to come and clean up. There's Brooks, who gets lost in the shuffle and loses the football. He peeked inside the ball. One, right? Uh, hang on, Sloopy. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Orr. Brandon Orr. All the way down across midfield and into Virginia territory at the far. And the meter still ticking away. Brandon Orr adding to that total with this one around the edge. And the turbo kicks in. Touchdown, Hokies. That's why he's there. But to me, he's a big, strong tailback to get, get the football. You gotta have people block for him, man. Yeah. Chris, that time, time you're right. They were waiting for him. 21 passing, two touchdowns. George Bell trying to make like his namesake, the former baseball player for the Toronto Blue Jays, and hit a home run and sliced, folks. The final score 52 to 14. For Rob Stone, 